are the very interesting slum clinic prescription. This was this is not exactly I'll tell you a what, but it's more like a corn or a callosity on the thumb. And again, I had done a constitutional prescribing in that cases. I had a failure with the with that. And I retook the case again. So there was only this feature of callosity or the what. Along with that, along with that, there was very poor comprehension, very poor memory. And my friends, I've learned this as a clinical tip. In many cases, when you're having failures with the constitutional remedy, look at the area of affinity, look at the area of affection. So I shared with you cases where looking at the color of the skin, where you're looking at the discharge, where you're feeling the skin, but very many cases of skin do make it a point to understand, yes, if, if the skin ailment is particularly on that part only. And she had no other ailment other than the watch on the thumb, other than the callos corn or callosities on the thumb. You can see here, gradually, it started to clear up. That was the first visit. Second visit is below. You can see by third and fourth, it had completely cleared up. And again, a prescription here, which was based on location of the skin ailment. My friends, anacardium was prescribed in the case. If you see Allen's keynotes, you'll find it's mentioned what on the palm of the hand. Natrum carb, natrum mu, anacardium, all have this. But anacardium is very suited if it accompanies or if it is coexisting with very poor comprehension and memory and cognitive skills. And anacardium 200 C a single dose completely cleared up this case. So again, when you're prescribing on the location of the skin, that's very, very important. Especially if you think of dorsum of the hand, if you think of the back of the hand, that's a feature of Dalkamara, what on the back of the hand. But whenever it's what's on the palm of the hand, or especially on the thumb and fingers, do think of anacardium. Natrum carb and natrum you may have it. But I will say anacardium is one of the topmost remedies. Again, I'm sharing with you cases here where you're having failures with the constitutional remedies. And in those cases, you can always think of prescribing these fantastic remedies. Another very interesting case, my friends. This is a knee ulcer. And you can see with the knee ulcer, it's almost like a part of the flesh has been you know, bitten off. So it looks like an angry ulcer. So whenever you come across these kind of ulcers, can be in an acute, can be even in a chronic condition with atrocious pains, unbearable pains. It's almost like the pains of death. In very many of these cases, my friends, again, a term which you'll find in the Metro Medica, you, you won't find this if you repertorize. And the patient is telling you it's almost like the pains of death. So she may have just a breast abscess. She may just have a carbuncle, but it's like the pains of death. So atrocious, so excruciating, so unbearable. So atrocious, unbearable pains, like the pains of death. And my friends, no other remedy will fit this picture than Tarantula cubensis. Tarantula cubensis is the Cuban spider. Think of all those cases of terminal cases of cancer. Think of even of an acute case of a carbuncle, of an acute case of abscess, where there is ulceration but it's almost excruciating and unbearable. And those cases, Tarantula cubensis, will always help you. If you look in Borikes Metromedica, you'll see it's mentioned italics. 
it is a remedy for the pains of death it soothes the last struggles cases of abscess where there is in predominance of pain where there is predominance of inflammation and in all those cases sent to the cubensis will come to your rescue again my friends i'm trying to share with you from my quick classical prescribing understanding you come across this cases of ulceration there's a lot of burning patient is telling you it is better by hot application i think of arsenic burning better by hot application with the restlessness with the debility again he's coming to you with an ulceration there is burning he's telling you it's better by cold application there's some oozing what is the nature of the oozing it's a watery blood it's a black blood it's a thin blood which is coming out from the oozing my friends at a sickly core sickle core where you can have the burning like arsenic but the opposite is better from cold application and my friend sickle core is a hemorrhagic remedy it doesn't have the viscosity which you expect with blood so the consistency of blood is thin watery black that sickle core and again when you come across these cases of ulceration with tremendous burning and the patient is telling you there is oozing what is the nature of the oozing it's almost like black tarry blood like tar and that is anthracinum in anthracinum you'll find black tarry nature of the bleeding and that's very very classical for anthracinum but in case of tarantula patient may not always tell you it's a burning pain it is the you know the degree and intensity of the pain you can understand when it's written in the metro medicals it's a pain of death you can understand how much is the intensity of suffering i've given it in cases of terminal cases of cancer with bone metastasis where there is tremendous burning and excruciating unbearable pains it acts as a palliative in cases of bed sores where there is tremendous pain excruciating unbearable it can help you even in acute cases of abscesses where there is excruciating unbearable pain very many cases my friends you'll think of hypersolf because the pain is so intense patient is so pain is so unbearable but in tarantula patient may not have the sensitiveness which you expect with hypersolf hypersolf will faint from the pain you cannot let it the clothes to touch the affected part that is the degree of sensitiveness of hyper but in case of tarantula you take away the sensitiveness but you add more excruciating and unbearable pain and you understand how you'll differentiate the two wonderful remedies so that's about it and to the cubensis 30c is always a safe potency to start with because uh, in terminal cases it's always a safe potency to start with in uh, for cancer and with the tremendous pains and the progressive pathology again very many times my friends you'll come across cases where you have cracks in the corner of the mouth this is a case of a squamous cell carcinoma cracks with bleeding do always think of nitric acid but whenever you have these kind of deep cracks in the mucocutaneous junctions nitric acid has failed very many times my friend condurango will come to your rescue condurango is a very specific remedy which has a very wonderful action on the corner of the mouth and cases where you're having failures with nitric acid or you don't have the temperament or the hemorrhage of nitric acid you can always prescribe condurango for cracks in the corner of the mouth very many times in condurango there is stricture in the esophagus as well so there is dysphagia difficult deglutition you can find with condurango as well but this is a very specific area of action for prescribing uh condurango so i'm sure you will find a benefit prescribing another of this fantastic remedy 30c works well for condurango as well
and this is my last one to share with you whenever you come across cases where you have prescribed a constitutional remedy or you have prescribed one of the biggest group bigger groups say a kalai group or a calcaria or a natrum or a baryta and you have prescribed say the biggest remedy of the group you have prescribed a calcaria carb you prescribed natrum mute and after a first or second follow up there is not much change you retake the case again you go through the case again you still find it's a good calcaria totality you still find it's a good natrum totality what do you do in those cases my friends i like to share with you an interesting understanding of prescription or avenue of prescription that very many times you will come across cases where you have a good totality of the remedy you may think you oh know of changing the remedy or going for a deep acting antipsychotic in these cases or deep acting antimyosmetic remedy in those cases but there is another avenue of prescription and that which i like to share with you there are few smaller remedies from those big groups where you come across cases where you have had success you have had a good totality of the calcaria a good totality of natrum a good totality of kali but you are still not having success and my friends i understand these as satellite remedies as smaller brothers and sisters to your big brother similarly in this case this patient came to us with verrucous warts like this which has been there for few 10 to 12 years and been to other homeopaths and you can think of all psychotic remedies which or all remedies which have warts had been prescribed for him from costicum to nitric acid to thuya to stevisagria and it was almost his is it was the last homeopath he was we were the last homeopath he was visiting and he would give up after this because conventional medicine didn't have any treatment homeopathy couldn't help in so many years so we went through the case we took the case in details he had a very good calcaria totality with the anxieties of calcaria with insecurities of calcaria head sweats constipation it is almost like a picture perfect totality of calc and we make it a point to see what remedies had been prescribed and few homeopaths had prescribed calcaria cough few homeopaths had prescribed calcaria force in different potencies without any appreciable change my friends you can see here with a, within a few visits the wart started to clear up his feet had cleared up there was some discoloration of the skin remaining as you can see on the top picture the hand had cleared up as well and by the fourth or fifth follow up he was smiling and he was ready to take a picture when his hand had completely cleared up and his feet had completely cleared up and again this is all remedies which are there in bori case metromedica and clark's dictionary but unfortunately being ignored over the century and my friends if you haven't prescribed i want to introduce you to one of the fabulous and celebrated remedies of the calcaria kingdom calcaria calcineta calcaria calcineta is a wonderful prescription in cases where you come across warts moles skin tags fibromas in a calcaria constitution and you have all the good calcaria totality and you're still having failures to always try calcaria calcineta 200c was just prescribed in this case and nothing else was needed but we have had obstinate cases where we had started off with 200c gone up to 1m 10m and it cleared up the warts completely cleared up the skin tags completely so my friends i'm sure you have cases of calcaria cough i'm sure you have press cases of calcaria force with the warts with the skin tags go back to those cases where you are having failures patient is really concerned because his skin tags aren't improving 
give him because he needs it calcarea calcineta these are again a smaller remedy in the calcarea kingdom but when you need it you can see it completely completely cleared it up calcarea calcineta works really well with 30 200 c 1m and 10m so put a note wherever you have notes for calcarea carb maybe in your laptop maybe in your book which you use put a note when in a what's in a calcarea constitution i always think of calcarea calcineta when i have having failures and calcarea calcineta will always be at your rescue to help those cases 3200 c1m works really really well for calcarea calcineta few other because we're talking about the calcarea group few other remedies which have used with good results in a calcarea constitution i like to share with you whenever you come across especially in the indian subcontinent you come across record and renal stones in a calcarea constitution so you know patient had kidney stones got it removed surgically again came back again got it removed again came back so it's a record and renal stones in a calcarea constitution my friends do try calcarea renalis you will find all these remedies mentioned in the relationship of calcarea carb or in the relation or in um clark dictionary of metromedica calcarea renalis works really really fabulously for recurrent renal stones in a calcarea constitution whenever you come across recurrent boils in a calcarea constitution you know boils are recurring again and again again and again in a calcarea constitution calcarea picrata works really really well calcarea picrata for recurrent boils in a calcarea constitution and the boils especially for calcarea picrata are located where the skin is in close proximity to the bone so there is not much intervening subcutaneous tissue so on the forehead on the tibia on the shin bone on the ear pinna so whenever the skin is in close proximity to the bone without any intervening subcutaneous tissue calcarea picrata works well especially for boils in a calcarea constitution so i'm sure you know about the bigger calcarea calcarea fos calcarea carb calcarea ars calcarea silicata those are few bigger calcareas which we use but very many times believe me my friends people are astonished to hear about calcarea calcineta and its fantastic action in today's psychotic 21st century where you'll have the anxieties and insecurities of calcarea where you have the fears of calcarea but at the same time there is a warts and skin tags in that calcarea constitution and calcarea calcineta will always be at your rescue and service in those constitutions with very effective results so that's about your calcarea constitution and calcarea con uh, warts in a calcarea constitution my friends <clears throat> i've tried to share with you my understanding and i'm not asking you as i shared within the beginning of the discussion to deviate from what you do to change from what you are prescribing i'm not here to do that but i want to want you to incorporate certain facets which may be lacking in the way you are perceiving patients go back to the skin cases because homeopaths are very often than not consulted for skin so i thought skin is one of the commonest areas meeting grounds where people from all over the world are consulted homeopaths are consulted constitutional prescribing repetrization i'm sure you go ahead with that you have fantastic results but i have tried to share with you a different aspect of classical simple classical practical non confusing homeopathy where a you look on what you prescribe look at the color of the skin feel the skin what is the nature of the discharge look at the miasmatics and at the same time look at the location where is it located is it located on a particular part and do also incorporate smaller remedies i call that a satellite remedies to your bigger brothers of the calcareas of the kelis of the natrops and put a note wherever you have notes for those big remedies and whenever i have failures with these remedies i will try out this when i have failures with thuya with 
per se that you'll try it as as serious rubens and in that way you can incorporate these remedies in your practice because otherwise you know, it will be long lost you had a wonderful webinar you heard, you felt nice but you go back you don't incorporate these you would be disappointed so whenever you're having failures with constitutional prescribing i hope you do not but try to put that calcutta hat on to prescribe on what you see thank you very much for your kind attention